welcome back to my channel and welcome to another favourites video. We're now officially halfway through the year, June with it being the sixth month, my sixth favourites video. How have we got to this point in the year so quickly? Honestly, I have no idea where this year has gone. I feel like we should still be right at the beginning, but somehow we're already halfway through it. But that does mean as it is the end of another month, that it's time for another favourites video. Again, I've got quite a few foodie bits that I've discovered in this one, but I've also got a couple of beauty products as well. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get straight into this month's favourites. So I think I'm going to start with the couple of beauty items that I've discovered this month and have been loving using at the moment. And the first one is actually this face mask, which is called the Mellow Peach Dessert Pack and it's a brand called Misa, Misha, I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce it. I might be wrong, but I think it's some kind of Asian brand, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it might be. And I actually discovered this in Sephora, and like I said, this is the peach one, which is honestly such a summer kind of fruit already. So the scent is just amazing, it smells incredible, and honestly, oh, it literally smells like you could eat it. <laughs> But it's like a jelly kind of consistency, which I love. It's so weird, like you don't normally get a face mask this kind of consistency, but I really love it. And it's so cooling and refreshing on your skin. It's also really simple and quick to apply. You just take a little smidge of it on your fingers, rub it onto your face, leave it for five minutes, and then wash it off with some warm water. It's so simple, quick, and easy to use, which is why I love it, because I'm always so lazy, especially when it comes to face masks. I always just forget to do them. I love the idea of it, but I always just forget to do it. But this one you can literally apply within seconds and then, like I said it's only five minutes and then you just wash it off so it's so simple to use and smells incredible and leaves your skin honestly feeling so soft and refreshed and hydrated which is perfect for summer so definitely for this time of year in this scent it's the perfect kind of product Another beauty product which I've been loving, another hydrating one actually, which I feel like you're probably more likely to have heard of this one, and that is the Body Shop Body Yogurts. I am someone who absolutely hates applying hand cream or any kind of body lotion during the day just because of that sticky, greasy texture. Even at night, especially in summer, I hate putting on body lotion as I go to sleep because the sheets like stick to you and it's all hot and you feel extra sticky and it's just not a great feeling. But I was like when I discovered the body yogurts, it says it sinks in within seconds or minutes, I'm not sure what it is, but very quick time for it to sink in and it's a non-greasy formula. I was like, I'll really test that out because I'm telling you now, I am really fussy when it comes to body creams and stuff and for that greasy texture. I just hate it. But I'm actually pretty impressed. It does still leave it a little bit sticky, but that's probably me being really fussy and picky to be honest. And I think my favourite scent has definitely got to be the almond milk one. I love anything almond kind of flavoured or scented. It's honestly such a nice smell. So definitely the almond milk is my favourite. I want to see there's five or six different ones. I've also tried the strawberry one, which is really nice. It's a really sweet kind of smelling strawberry type smell. Sort of more of an artificially kind of strawberry type smell, but it is still really nice. And then I've also got the coconut one to try, which I haven't yet tried, but I'm sure that will be another fave because I love coconut scents, especially for body lotions and stuff. And again, for summer, that's like a really tropical summer kind of scent. So definitely think I'm gonna love that one. So if you're like me, and hate anything greasy or hate putting on body lotion and never bother to do it just because of that greasy horrible texture, try out the body yogurts from the body shop because they're honestly a lot better at the non-greasy formula than a lot of existing body lotions. So moving on to some foodie bits now. The first couple of items are from Planet Organic and they're actually by the Planet Organic brand themselves. And I discovered these quite recently. They were actually mentioned, I believe, in my massive Planet Organic order haul thing, my video that went up a few weeks ago, maybe last month. I can't remember exactly when that went up. I'll link it down below if you're interested in checking it out. But in that video, I did mention these two products I'd never tried them before. And the first one is, I was trying to get the name of this right, it's called the Planet Organic Chiam Chim, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, it's C-H-I-A-M-P, almond butter and choc chip bar. And like I mentioned before, anything almond flavoured or scented, I absolutely love. And this bar is so tasty, you've got the taste of the almond butter and it's so like chewy and kind of fudgy, and then you've got the little chocolate chips in there which really just adds something to it. And it's also such a great source of protein as well, and it's all plant-based. I think it had, I want to say 11 grams of protein per bar, and it's super tasty. So if you're an almond 
Bath & Butter fan like me, definitely check out those bars. Then their other product that I've been loving is the Undercover Chocolate Goji Berries. And these are little goji berries, which at the moment as well, I'm kind of obsessed with anything goji berry flavoured or anything with goji berries in it, especially sort of like goji berry chocolate and things. And so these are basically goji berries covered in raw chocolate with very few ingredients, very good for you, and it also had a live culture in there of the like gut healthy bacteria, which is really great for digestion. And these are so tasty because the goji berries are so chewy, and then the raw chocolate just tastes incredible on there as well. So I really want to get some more of those because I don't have any more at the moment, but I'm definitely going to be buying some soon. And again, goji berries, anything with berries in it is definitely summer orientated for sure. The next food product is by a brand called Rhythm 108, which I've mentioned a fair few times before, particularly for their tea biscuits and I've recently discovered another flavour that I love, surprise surprise, and that is their lemon and ginger tea biscuits. Again lemon is another sort of very summery kind of flavour and then ginger, I love like gingerbread cookies and things so the two together just work so well and it's so tasty and again they're made with really great few ingredients, they're also vegan, refined sugar free, gluten free, dairy free, so if you have any intolerances or follow a plant based or vegan diet. Rhythm 108 biscuits, I've recommended them before but again this is another new flavour you should definitely try. The next thing is by a brand called Ombar and this is actually a brand of raw chocolate. I hadn't ever tried any of their chocolate before, I'd heard quite a lot about it but I discovered Panna Chocolate and I've always said that's my favourite raw chocolate and I was so set on that one that I've just been like there's no point in trying any others because I just love this one too much. But I recently tried on bar and I can't even tell you how amazing their chocolate tastes and they've got so many flavours as well. My favourite one has definitely got to be the raw on bar centres chocolate in the coconut and vanilla flavour. I didn't know what to expect with this one because I just thought it was coconut and vanilla flavoured chocolate. I didn't see the centres bit of it and basically you've got the chocolate and then in the middle of it you've got like a creamy kind of coconut vanilla paste which is so so tasty and I wasn't expecting it to be there either which just made it even better. I can't recommend that flavour enough. And then also like I was saying I'm kind of obsessed with goji berries at the moment so also their goji berry chocolate flavour is so great. I mean the raw chocolate itself tastes incredible and then you've got those chewy goji berry pieces in there which just really adds them to it and it tastes was so nice. I've also discovered another raw chocolate brand and this is called Seed and Bean. I've only very recently tried theirs and I actually have uh, the one that I've recently tried here which is the Cornish Sea Salt Dark Chocolate and this one is 70% cocoa solids and again this is so tasty made with really good ingredients and it's dairy free as well and this is also handmade in England. I always just find that things when they're handmade they sort of have that extra personal touch and it just makes it taste even better somehow. This this is a really tasty sort of plain kind of dark chocolate. I have also got their coconut and raspberry flavour to try. Haven't got around to trying that one yet, but I'm sure I will soon and that just sounds like it's going to be amazing as well because the chocolate itself is so tasty so with that added extra flavour I'm sure that's going to be incredible. But yeah, this is definitely another brand of raw dairy free chocolate that I can recommend if you haven't yet tried it or are looking to discover a new chocolate brand to try. My final favourite for this month is actually a couple of cookies sources by Meridian. Now if you know me like I said before I'm obsessed with almond butter but particularly the Meridian almond butter is my all time fave. It just tastes incredible and it's 100% nuts which is just amazing but it tastes so great at the same time. And then they also make a variety of different other products like different sauces, cooking sauces as well as a range of sort of jams and spreads. They've got quite a lot of different products. Definitely check them out if you're wanting healthier like jams and spreads and sauces without having to go through the effort of making them yourself. Definitely check out Meridian for that as well as of course for their massive range of all different nut butters. But I've recently tried their tikka masala and korma cooking sauces and these are so great. I used to love tikka masala and occasionally I get korma, more tikka masala but I do love both these curries but sadly now because of my intolerances in a general Indian restaurant I can't get them because they're made with cream. However these ones are made with coconut cream, they're completely vegan and plant based and they taste so good and there's no hidden like preservatives or E numbers or anything that's a bit suspicious in here. It's just very simple, good for you ingredients. I could easily replicate this probably if I bothered to give it a go and just 
I'd probably have to do a few testers to try and get the proportions of all the different ingredients correct. But, I mean, there is just amazing ingredients in here and it provides a great lazy dinner. So it's perfect for either after work or school or uni, whenever you've just had a really stressful busy day and if you're not that into cooking or just really feel like being lazy then these are perfect and also even just on a day when you feel like being lazy and can't be bothered to go to much effort with cooking these are such a great way because you can literally cook up some veggies or some kind of meat you chuck on the sauce heat it up for a few minutes and you've got a super tasty dinner i can't recommend these enough especially if you love curries and you love these too but now either are vegan or can't have dairy for whatever reason that may be definitely try the meridian ones because they are so 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 tasty and like I said before they're still made with incredible ingredients though. So that was all of this month's favourites. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash a big thumbs up if you did as well as clicking on that little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel. I'd love it if you could do that. Don't forget there's the notifications bell as well down there that you can tap on so that you're notified whenever I upload and I will be sure to see you on Wednesday with a brand new video. Bye!